Hello everyone! My name is Shiny, and today I will become Gojo Satoru from Jujutsu Kaisen inside Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So, for those who own Minecraft for Windows or Minecraft Pocket Edition, you will be able to download this add on and use it. So, you know, you can also become Gojo Satoru inside your own Minecraft world. This is the Jujutsu Kaisen add on that has been created by this Japanese add on creator called Raichu. <laughs> and I guess uh, for those who have never seen this mod before, I would do some simple explanations so you can, you know, understand what is going on. First, look at the hotbar. We have four items over here. Uh, ignore the furthest right for now. So, first one we have is Limitless. So, every time you create a new world, you get the random Jujutsuki, basically. So, you don't know which character you're gonna get. But for this one, uh, I made sure I get Gojo Satoru because that's the what, what the video is about. And once you get the Limitless, basically, it's... Uh, activated from beginning for you so you don't have to worry about it and if you shift as you can see you cycle through these different uh, moves that you can use and the skeleton skull this one only spawns when you launch the game inside creative mode and the reason why is because if you right click on it you get these three settings skin arm selection which is basically you know to fit the mod uh, to your skin so since I'm using the default Steve I guess arms I would pick the upper one but if you're using the Alex skin then you have to you should pick the second option and the next one cursed energy level so this one you everyone starts off from level one which is the weakest and you know you just have to beat bunch of mobs to level up but if you want to you know just level up quickly uh, which in my case I did because uh, it's just a mod review uh, you can become level four so right now the mod does not support special grade so the highest is grade four and the last one, achieve all advancement. Well, that one should be simple, right? Oh, you just basically get every single achievement inside this game so you can use every single move because in default, most of these moves are not unlocked. You have to level up to be able to use it, especially the red cursed energy because you need to learn uh, reversed, which is this one, manipulation of cursed energy. So this item is basically the reversal uh, curse technique. Which, if you guys uh, are not familiar with uh, in the anime, basically it allows the user to heal themselves. And for special people, for example, uh, actually, would this be spoiled? Uh, I guess no, for people who, has, uh, who watched the movie would know uh, Okotsu Yuta, he also knows how to heal other people. Meanwhile, Gojo does not know that. He can only heal himself. And lastly, this third item called Skill. This one's also simple. Basically, you have to use each moves, blow weak. We got Kick, and we got Chris Energy Blow Strong, which you get this sick little animation. And Approaching, which you can jump. And also since I have Limitless, uh, I kind of, uh, how do I say it, fly in the air a bit. So yeah, uh, you can have like sick <laughs> battles in the air basically if you're Gojo Satoru. The last one is a backflip, which there we go, we just backflip just like that. Okay, I don't know why I did so many backflips. So yeah, yeah, that's basically the skill move. So skill is basically physical attacks and whatever is in your first hotbar selection is using the actual Jujutsuki. Next is the two items I got here. So first one we got is six eyes, which in the anime if you know, allows Gojo to basically look at the flow of energy or I guess just the Jujutsu powers. I don't know, it's, that's the most simplified way I can explain. But I, so far in the mod, I do not really see a uh, difference. I'm not too sure if they incorporated the features yet. And the way you get six eyes, it's either random chance. So when you activate Limitless, you might have six eyes, uh, you know, like a genetic inheritance. Or uh, you have to kill Gojo Satoru. Y yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> and next one is Manual of Limitless Holo Technique Purple. So Kyoshiki Murasaki. So this item, you simply have to just find it. Uh, just good luck, just adventure out in this big grand world. You, you, you can do this. So yeah, uh, that's how you can get these two items basically. And now that I have done that, let's showcase some of the limitless moves that we got of Gojo. So for the fights, I will be using uh, a creeper as an example because it doesn't burn under the sun. There we go, we got a creeper here, he's he's chilling, he's walking, just like that. So the first move we should try using is... Uh, oh yeah, Limitless Infinity. 
So all you have to do is right click just like that and then infinity has been activated Oh, I guess in that case the best showcase is a skeleton So if a skeleton tries to shoot us He would not be able to hit us because we have infinity on so let's get like three skeletons over here Go into survival mode They're gonna shoot at me He just hey hey you're supposed to shoot me As you can see they cannot hit me so uh, I don't know why the arrow animation is not happening, but they are shooting towards me. But since I have limitless, it's not working. And if I disable infinity, there we go. Now they are hitting me. And I activate infinity. Boom. Their arrows stop mid-air. Nothing can hurt me. So, uh, actually, if I spawn the creeper here, that's gonna be bad. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna test out the next move against them. Oh, by the way... This map is uh, also created uh, by Sayama City, and I've also used it in my Digimops video before, if you guys are interested in Digimon. So, Limitless Blue, Jujushiki Junting, oh, all you have to do is right click, and there we go. And, if you hold on to right click, you're able to move the br- <laughs> You are able to move the- blue cursed energy on your own wall or if you want to you know just use it for a moment then you just right click once and then it shows up only once just like that okay let's go back to creative mode so we got a creeper here again so if we right click it once there you go it gets sucked in just like that and if we hold on to it boom uh, we can uh, basically keep on activating it until the mob dies and next one we got is Red Cursed Energy. Uh, this one again, you also only right click. And then boom, you just destroy anything in front of you. <laughs> oh, also top right. The very top like that blue fire thingy is the amount of cursed energy you have. And the reason why it's not going down is because I'm Gojo Satoru. You know, I never run out of energy. And the second one is the cooldown for your Jujushiki. And the third one is the cooldown for your physical attacks. So, if we, for example, spawn in the creeper again, and use red, just like that, I cannot use it again. Uh, you, s you saw how my arm moved, because I right-clicked, but I couldn't summon the Jujushiki Hunting Aka, because there was still a cooldown. But now that it is zero, we are able to summon it again, just like that. Next one we have is Holo Technique Purple, or Kyoshiki Murasaki. So this one is a big, big move. So let's spawn three creepers in, get further behind, and then again, we just right click, and then we can do Kyoshiki Murasaki. Look at that, that was so sick. So yeah, again, I, I don't know how the mod, you know, mod or I guess add-on creators are so talented these days, like, if it has animations. So if we do it again, there we go. We use hand signal, and then fire this big, big ball. And right now, uh, I made it so the map does not get destroyed, but if you're playing in a normal single player world, the holo purple and bo- uh, you know, no, every single move, blue, red, and purple all destroy every single uh, blocks around you, so it's a very destructive move. And the very last skill we have is Domain Expansion, Unlimited Void, so Ryoiki Tenkai, Muryoku Shou. So again, we just simply right click, and then boom. We are inside our own <laughs> uh, domain expansion. So if we summon any mobs, uh, I'm sorry, Scott, I forgot you guys burned. They cannot move on their own will, but we can punch how, how many times we want, deal some damage just like that, and finish them off with our own will. And then if you want to deactivate it, you have to go back, oops, and select a domain expansion unlimited void again, and right click. And just like that, the domain is shattered. So yeah, uh, that is about it of explaining how Gojo Satori works in this add-on. And now, uh, I'm just gonna have a quick fight against some of the mobs in single player. So let me get some food actually before I do that. I forgot it. it's called cooked beef. All right, let me get some cooked beef. And then I have some mobs spawn here. So some may be spawns, um, maybe spoilers, but I d honestly do not remember uh, which spirit came out of which so if you guys can uh, tell me that would be nice the so first one we have is grade 3 there we go we got the math boy let's go into survival mode all right 
Come at me, math boy. Alright, so once we hit it, it's suddenly approaching us with its mouth open. That is actually kind of disgusting. Okay, let's get out. Uh, 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 limitless. And then boom, it cannot hit us anymore. So, what that is happening? Let's summon, summon in more. So, let's, uh, we're gonna hit everyone. And then boom, they're all, they are all aggroed against me and chasing me. Let's spawn in that guy too, the mushroom. And then, ooh, okay, this one is very strong. Whoa, he... He is big. All right, let's hit him once. Hit. I I cannot hit him. In that case, uh, let's go up. And then I forgot to pull down. It's very long. All right. I don't know if we hit him, but you know what? Let's just use our move now. Just just kijin thing. Oh. So we just right click and then hold on to it, and then boom, we can just launch it to wherever we want and then hit people. Okay, this guy is very hard to hit, so let's see his Jujushiki hunting, Aka. Once our cooldown is down, I forgot. Alright, Jujushiki hunting, Aka. Alright, we hit it once. Is it aggroed at us? Nope, it still does not want to do anything with us. Alright, let's keep on shooting it until we actually get him. Boom, we got him. And then next, let's spawn in the special grade crew spirit, Mami. Again, nothing works against me. He can try and hit me forever, but all I have to do is just keep hunting, Aka. Hit him once. You know, maybe we can punch him once as well. Strong punch, just like that. And then let's finish him off with Kyoshiki. Murasashi. And boom, one hit. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, oops, I forgot to spawn you. I'm, so I'm sorry, man. Uh, I guess for you, I'll just finish you off with Red Curse Energy. There we go. <laughs> so now that we have gone through every single move Gojo Satoru can use, I decided let's actually have a fight so you know we can showcase how exactly you can fight inside this Minecraft add-on while being Gojo Satoru. So here I got Fushiguro Toji which is the season 2 part 1's main antagonist so it would be the perfect opponent for us young Gojo Satoru. So. Let's turn on our infinite uh, limitless first, but we know that he has the heavenly spear that cancels it out, so we have to make sure we re enable it each time. Okay, I will start off with strong blow. All right, let's go. All right, he has already gone in. Gone in. <laughs> okay, you have to calm down there. All right, Jujushiki Junting, oh. Oh boy, okay. He is actually so strong. Okay, and here is when the fourth slot finally comes into use, which is the reversal technique, so we can hear, uh, heal ourselves whenever we use it. Oh. Alright, come on. Okay, we can go up, like that. Alright, th that guy has been in the air for how long? Alright, let's use Jishiki hunting Aka. Which we have completely missed. We need to heal. That was dangerous. <laughs> okay, can he like actually come down? It's getting slightly annoying. Huh. Okay, he is absolutely destroying me right now. So this is how Gojo felt, huh? <laughs> Fighting against a physically gifted... He keeps on going up in the air so my red does not hit. Where is he? There we go. We got some hits. Okay, that should have knocked him back pretty far away. Come at me here. Alright, we got some punch in. Okay, watch out. We gotta heal back again. Where is he? Huh. It should be now. Alright, we got some hits. Let's heal. Okay, where is he now? What's up? We have to remember that Gojo can only heal himself, and he does not have the ability to heal other people. Okay, that is bad. I missed that. Let's use blue. There we go. All around us. Nice. Now! Good hit, good hit, good hit. Okay, I think we should finish him off with... Polo purple very soon. Okay. Ow, okay, okay. We gotta watch out. 
But we are closing in. So, I think... Next opportunity we have... We should be... Where is he? Where is he gonna come down? Ha! There he is! Okay, I'm not too sure if he hit that actually. Woo! We almost died there. You know what? Yeah, we have to finish it off. Koshiki! Murasaki! I think we got him. Wow. Mid-air. Okay, that was the reverse. Because you guys know how in the anime, uh, Gojo was the one in the air. But, whew. That was a tough fight. So, yeah. That was the fight against Fushiguro Toji. Uh, again, uh, make sure to compliment the add-on creator Raichu. And then if you guys want to become Gojo Satoru yourself inside the Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Uh, I have put the link in the description. So, yeah. Uh, I'm planning to review or showcase Geto Suguru from this add-on next so if you guys are interested in Suguru's review then make sure to I guess leave a like and subscribe and make sure to turn on that notification on so whenever I upload Geto Suguru's video you know you will be there the very first to take a look at it so yeah uh, that was about it uh, thank you guys for watching today and yeah see you in my next video goodbye